Hi friends, welcome to Curious Vet channel. I am Dr. Mausina. The topic for today's video is a small topic, it pale bird syndrome. Also known as malabsorption syndrome or runting stunting syndrome. It is a transmissible disease characterized by stunted growth and lack of skin pigmentation. It occurs in growing chickens 1 to 3 week old and most commonly in broiler breeds. Turkeys may also be affected and in turkeys it resembles Pouled Enteritis Mortality Syndrome. The synonyms of this disease are Malabsorption Syndrome and Runting Stunting Syndrome. So as we told before, it is seen usually in young chickens of 1 to 3 week old. Coming to the etiology, it have a complex or multifactorial etiology and related to numerous enteric viruses as well as possible mycotoxins. A viral cause is suspected but has not been proved yet. Coming to the clinical findings, uneven growth, temporary stunting, permanent runting, lack of pigmentation in skin, feet or beak, slow feathering, broken or twisted feathers, undigested feed in the feces and poor feed conversion ratio are some of the signs. Let's see what are the key clinical signs. One is the standard growth, poor growth and feathering, decreased pigmentation of skin, feet and beak and broken or twisted wings, feathers also known as helicopter wings. Diarrhea is common during the initial phases and eating feces or coprophagy can also be seen. So in this picture you can clearly see the undigested feed and orange mucus in the feces. That is a clinical, peculiar clinical sign seen in pale bird syndrome or malabsorption syndrome. Other signs are lameness, osteodystrophy and secondary encephalomalacia. Let's see what are the gross lesions. Orange mucus in the small intestine, enlarged proventriculus, small gizzard and atrophied pancreas, thymus and bursa. So in these pictures you can see the proventriculus or proventricular distension. Proventriculus is large and almost the same size of gizzard. In the picture, the picture on the right you can see uh, normal, the left and affected proventriculus on the right. An encephalomalacia or rickets may be seen occasionally in affected birds. And no consistent microscopic lesions are found. Also, no treatment is available for this disease. Severely affected birds do not respond immediately to changes in feed or management practices. Culled from flocks before processing and the number affected in a flock can vary from a few to 90%. No confirmatory test and clinical signs and postmortem lesions permit a presumptive diagnosis.
so as we mentioned before there is no treatment available for this disease so we can only do prevention and control coming to the prevention and control improved hygiene and sanitation good nutrition egg selection antibiotics and vitamin supplements feed should be analyzed for dietary toxins and high levels of toxin should not knowingly be fed to commercial poultry so these measures can effectively prevent and control the disease no vaccines prevent malabsorption syndrome and some rio virus vaccines are marketed to prevent the stunting and poor feed conversions due to pathogenic rio viruses no reported zoonotic risk so that's all about pale bird syndrome if you find the video useful please like it share it with your friends and comment your uh, suggestions if you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video i will be uploading at least one video every week so see you soon with another video thank you